Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews with... Christina. Back to back. And uh, so we have another entry into the Founders KBS lineup. This is KBS Chocolate Espresso. Imperial Style Age in Barrels, 12% ABV. Mm. I think it was uh, bottled in May of this year, so it's pretty fresh. So it's espresso instead of regular coffee, I guess. Hmm. Not really sure the difference there, but Maybe anyway. more bitter, right? Probably. Um, pour into the Spiegel Tulip glass, and it's kind of a, actually kind of like a blood red color, or like really dark brown. I mean, it looks black on camera. I think it looks black against the light. I cannot see through that at all. It's just yeah. like dark, scary like, water. Right at the bottom down here, you can see like a little ruby red or something. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. It definitely does smell like espresso. Like, you're more of a coffee nerd than I am. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know the difference between espresso and, like, regular coffee? Yeah, it smells like those, just, like, that fresh espresso flavor. Yeah. Um, I'm getting vanilla. Yeah, it smells like when you walk into Starbucks. Yeah, this smells amazing. Yeah. There's definitely a <laughs> chocolatey note to it, yeah. Yeah. Is it more Because cho chocolate and vanilla is, like, very, very similar smells, but... Yeah, it's coffee, it's chocolate... I can smell the actual bourbon in there. Yeah, like, it could be like a, almost like a cordial smell to it. Mm -hmm. It's a clean smell. Nice, like really... Using espresso, I think like it's meant to like really bring out the roastiness because usually in these types of beers, I don't get roast. I just get like all sweetness and everything. Yeah. So let's this see what we're amazing. in for. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Oh, yeah, now I see the red in it. Okay. <laughs> From this angle. What do you think? That is, that tastes strong. Um, well, very should. strong, yeah, alcohol flavor on it from the, the whiskey barrel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, maybe we're drinking a little too cold, but I feel like the yeah. flavors on here are, like, a little muted. Like, I definitely get vanilla. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely get, like, the chocolate. Um... It does taste like an authentic chocolate. It doesn't taste just like cocoa powder or something, you know? Yeah. it was. It's like a dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Really dark chocolate. Um, the espresso. I think the, the espresso is more like a bitterness than the actual... It doesn't have much of an actual coffee taste. Yeah. Not or, compared to the smell. It's yeah. It's prominent. Yeah, because the smell is like... It, it smells like it's going to be like a coffee bomb, but mm -hmm. it's... The actual coffee or espresso on here is, I, I don't want to say like subtle, but it's just like, you know, on the lower end. Yeah, it's not as prominent as when you're actually taking a sniff of it. Mm. Um, I don't know if it's reading as like vanilla or cherry. Are you getting that? Yeah, I'm getting, that's what I was just about to say. I'm like, it has like a cherry kind of flavor. It's like a cherry cordial. Yeah, and I think a lot of that is like, um, you know, like when you have a lot of dark malt, it tends to get like a really fruity flavor. It could also be the yeast that they use. yeah. And, and combined uh, with the the bourbon, or maybe it was like you know like the barrels or like cherry wood barrels or something, you know. I don't know. That would be cool. I don't know. I'm just saying that's a possibility. I think this is really interesting. This is like um, a mm. decadent dessert for me. Um, to me, this is kind of par for the course for KBS now. Like I find this 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 line used to be as good, if not better, than Goose Island Bourbon County, and like now it's kind of. I don't know. It's getting it's getting more basic with each variant because I mean they had like a blueberry one I did a few months ago which was pretty lame and they've had a few other ones. There was a they did a fudge one a couple years ago that was really good. Mm -hmm. um, but to me this is you know like you see the word chocolate on the label so you just think like nothing but chocolate like you, but this to me this doesn't taste like a chocolate beer. It's more vanilla or cherry. Vanilla cherry, and then bitter. And like I said, it's kind of redundant because KBS already is an imperial stout with chocolate and coffee. So it's like, why are they like it's just say double chocolate or something? Like if if they're adding more chocolate to it or you know, or extra chocolate, something like that. Yeah, double chocolate. That would be amazing. Yeah, I don't think you've ever had. Maybe Southern Tier Chocolate, which is one of my all-time favorite beers. I haven't seen it down here in a long time. That I haven't, yeah. And I think we're going to have to take a trip back to New York just so we can get it. 
Um, but anyway, uh, getting way off topic, so... I kind of want to let it warm up, though, just because, like yeah. you said, maybe it gets better. I don't know. To me, like, I can tell... I don't think it's going to get all that much better because, like, the mouthy on this one, compared to, like, Goose Island Bourbon County, is kind of thin. I mean, I would put this, like, medium, maybe medium full. Mm-hmm. I don't know. For me, it's it's not harsh, and it because of the mouthfeel, it is pretty drinkable. Yeah, I mean, this is this tastes good, but you know what? Like, I don't. There's a certain, je ne sais quoi factor of like beers that are like aged in barrels like quickly versus over like the course of years and years. Because mm-hmm. like Goose Island always has like that real age quality to it, and like this has like yeah. a flash aging quality to it. Yeah. Um, like the I mean, like those Kentucky bourbon. Uh, series, you know? Yeah. They have that quality. Just, like, cheap barrel quality. Yeah, but how much is this bottle? Um, Because a bottle you know, of Goose uh, Island is, like, $25, so there is going to be a difference, I think. This was... Oh, you know what? I got this at Pat's. I think it was only... It was, like, less than $5. Yeah. I'm pretty so sure. So it's definitely going to be inferior in quality yeah. to, like, a Goose Island, which mm-hmm. is way more expensive. But yeah. I think for the price point... Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It's not great. I also get I'm getting a, a warmth mm-hmm. off this one. Oh yeah, for sure. I will say like at least it's not like cloying or anything, like not at all. I'm getting like a slight kind of jalapeno thing on here. Yeah. From the coffee. Yeah, I think the bitterness is preventing it from being mm-hmm. perceived as sweet. This should be world you know, this should be amazing and it's like it's like I said, it's good. It's. I would say it's better than okay. Um, I'm thinking like seven or seven and a half. It's B tops. It's not even B plus. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good, but yeah. I mean, Goose Island for me gets a perfect score. So I'll yeah. give this one an eight. I think it's an good eight. for the price point. Yeah. I would buy this again. I like yeah. it. I think it's interesting. By the way, you see the shirts we're wearing. Oh, you can't <laughs> see mine, really. <laughs> That's yeah. my shirt from like 2009 or whatever. This is like older or younger Chad. You know, I've had this. I've had this. <laughs> you and hair. I've had the T-shirt store for like I don't know. It feels like a year now, and I just I never mention it in the videos or anything. But if you want to get a cool T-shirt like us, link in the description below. Do you still sell this one? Uh yeah. Well, you can make whatever pattern and whatever color you want. Yeah. I like so the you just fonts. you just pick the logo and you pick the color of your shirt. I like the old German font. This yeah. One. <laughs> all right we're going really long so if you watch all the way in you're awesome we'll see you for whiskey wednesday oh, cheers cool. cheers somebody brewed it chad just reviewed it thanks for watching chad's beer review trust me the next episode will be a lot better